Rob, to you now. Last week, Kamala Harris unveiled her economic plan and actually attempted to answer questions from reporters. This is probably why she's been hiding from the media when you listen to this. The return on that investment in terms of what that will do and what it will pay for will be tremendous. We've seen it when we did it in the first year of our administration. Reduced, we reduced child poverty by over 50 percent. So that's a lot of the work. And then what we're doing in terms of the tax credits, we know that there's a great return on that investment. When we increase home ownership in America, what that means in terms of increasing the tax base, not to mention property tax base, what that does to fund schools, again, return on investment. Does this make sense to you, Rob? No, Rick, that's what they call word salad. And uh, that's exactly why Kamala Harris has probably been dodging those media interviews and is only committed to doing one debate, even though Donald Trump has offered her three. I think that she recognizes that the more that she's out there talking about her policy proposals, it poses a risk and a threat to the rising poll numbers that she's seen because of the glowing media coverage. And so if she is out there articulating new ideas, sometimes old ideas, in this case, a socialist idea that uh, isn't very popular with the American people, she runs the risk of damaging that uh, reputation that uh, has built up last month. I think this is precisely why Donald Trump needs to focus on the policy issues and paint a clear contrast of what he did in his four years in the White House versus what has happened over the last three and a half years, which Kamala Harris is partly responsible for.